Like the rest of society, farm technology has seen enormous change in the past century. Some Virginia farmers are happy to hang on to older equipment and enjoy the memories they hold. Stanley Hula of Charles City County has more than 50 antique tractors and a separate show building. Lately, he's focused on saving smaller items from the past. And uh, signs really are my passion today more than tractors because of my age. I don't, I'm not as interested in tractors in the museum, I mean, it's in signs. But if I see a sign that I like, I'm going to buy it. Most everything in here is farm related in some way or another. Now, I try to collect local memorabilia rather than far away. If something comes up local, I will buy it. Hula has been collecting farm antiques since he was 30 and got his first sign as a gift. His private collection is at Renwood Farms, a family grain operation along the James River. At age 81, he says he truly enjoys the good memories these items hold for him. I guess the only favorite piece is that I have back here is an 830 John Deere tractor. And I can remember riding that tractor day after day after day. Uh, and I look, the, the thing that stands out about that tractor to me more than the other tractor that I ever rode was the sound that it had. It had the putt-putt sound, but it's a deep growling sound. I just love to hear it. And uh, of all the pieces in here, I would say if I had a favorite, that would be the one that would stand out to me as a favorite tractor. Memories are the reason why Lillian Azevedo also has a piece of history on her Amelia County farm. A modified Model T farm truck is her prized possession, formerly owned by her grandfather and an uncle and painstakingly shipped across the country. It's an orchard truck from California. It's a 1919 Model T, and then it has a brown truck attachment um, on the, the rear end. So it uh, can haul up to two tons, and it was uh, originally produced to for logging, uh, for any time you needed to haul something a little bit more heavy duty than you could with your, your little Model T. So it's got the original redwood bed, which was put on in 1920. And then you can see where the apple boxes were slid on and off when it was working in the orchard for the first you know, 30 years of its life before it became out of date and uh, survived survived the scrap drive from World War II and ended up getting picked up for, picked up by my grandpa back when you could pick up a Model T for five, ten dollars. Azevedo says a love for old trucks runs in her family. Her husband has an original 1949 yes, Chevrolet family truck on the farm. Normally, Chevy and Ford collectors don't mix, but they make it work because of their love of antiques. And she's planning to use the Model T soon in their new orchard. She says many times older equipment is still useful in several ways. We've always loved gardens, but we've never had, I've never lived on a farm. It's always been a, a dream of mine. Um, and having the old farm truck on a farm for the first time in three generations is something that I could have only dreamt about. And having my grandpa's truck next to Brendan's grandpa's truck having a Ford and a Chevy right next to each other, you know, doing, doing the farm job is part of, part of the dream. Um, my daughter lives in England. Um, she hasn't had a chance to come out to the farm, but I think when she does and being able to use, not only you see the old cars, but drive them and haul things and move things and press apples and dig in the garden. With, with the antiques is going to be something fantastic for her, I think. While collecting farm antiques has been a passion for more than 50 years for Hula, he also sees their value for reminding people of how far technology has come. My grandson, who is out here working on the farm right now, he came into the office one day and our telephone had gone out and those two on the landlines were, and we'd put a rotor phone on the desk to replace the push button phone. He looked at it and I was there, his dad brought him in and he said, Dad, what is this? We have no idea. How many people have an idea that we had a rotor phone at one time? And that's the same thing that happens with agriculture. Do we know that we started out behind a horse that grew to this and grew to the technology that we have today? If we don't look back, we don't, 
we don't find out about it. Obviously, many of us won't remember it because people like me, when we're gone, their memories are gone likewise. Azevedo's farm is private, but Hula's farm equipment collection is housed in a building on the farm called A Glimpse Into the Past. It's open for viewing by appointment only. He believes it's important to remember and honor the past. All the business I find signs for no longer exist. If you walk around here, I can look and give you names of companies that we did business with that are no longer there. Uh, and that just really interests me, how times have changed and how business have come and gone. Farmers like Hula and Azevedo count themselves lucky they can touch and feel these mementos of Virginia's rich agricultural heritage. You can too. There are similar collections, each with a different focus, in every part of the Old Dominion. Just search for Virginia Farm Museum on the internet. In Charles City County, I'm Ricky Gibson reporting.